I want to uh, talk to you or I wanted you to talk about uh, your parents. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. you know, me and you, we've been, you know, we go back, God, shit, this almost 20 years at this point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, man, your parents, you know, I, I just in the time that we work together and I will always see your parents always there, like supporting you, helping you, you know what I mean? Um, pulling up at shows. Your dad, and I don't even know if we ever talked about this. I know I've never talked about this publicly, but the day that we shot the picture perfect video, when we shot the picture perfect video in, yeah. in Brooklyn, yeah, I don't even know if me and you ever talked about this. This is one of the worst days of my life. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like, <laughs> we have not talked about this. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. We have not. Okay. Bro, listen. So that morning I flew into Philly and then because we were shooting in Brooklyn. So I flew into Philly. And your dad came and picked me up from the airport. So this is like, oh, God, maybe we shot it on like a, let's say we shot it on like a Friday or something. I don't know. But anyway, we shot it on a Friday. And literally, I think that Tuesday, that was when my divorce started. Hmm. That was when like me and my, you know, pre we separated. So the day of that Picture Perfect video shoot, I am a fucking wreck <laughs> I, I do not I, I, as, far, as much as i had as much as i wanted to do it and as you know as much as i love everybody involved man that shit was a wreck but i was riding in the car with your dad your dad came and picked me up from the airport and then he uh took us to brooklyn to where the shoot was and so we were sitting in the car bro and um you know and and your dad is i mean pops is pops he is hey what's yeah. going on young man what's happening let's let's talk about it. you know he's just on yeah and i just broke down crying and wow. he was just like, yo, he's like, man, you all right? And I'll never forget this. I asked him, I said, I said, Pop, I said, look, I, I just got to ask you, man. I said, you know, have you ever, you know, thought of a time where, can you, do you ever remember, uh, ever thought, you know, in all your years of, you know, being married, you ever thought that like marriage maybe wasn't for you? And he was like, he said, like, oh, that's strong. He said, that's tough right there. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got up down to a science is amazing. <laughs> Bro, I'll never forget this shit long as I live, dog. So I was like, damn. He's like, oh, that's tough right there. And I'll never forget. He gave me some of the most, like, timeless, just most perfect advice that has been just like a guiding light, you know, for everything. You know what I mean? Just in my career and just, you know, whenever I have to make tough decisions. And he just said, he said, well, listen, man. He said, look, no matter what you choose, no matter what decision you make, it's going to be the right decision because it's your decision. <laughs> Godly. <laughs> no matter Dog. what decision you make, it's going to be the right decision because it's your decision. Because it's your decision. That sounds man. so much like that, man. <laughs> Bro, so, yeah. So that, was, so that was my life was changed in like an hour and a half ride with this guy. What impact did your parents have on your? You'll speak to their impact on you as an so artist. First of all, career. why why did you fly to Phil? Why did you fly in Philly? We we shot in New York. I think I can't remember what it was. I think we were because I think your if I'm not mistaken, I think your parents were bringing your clothes or something. They had to drive up to Brooklyn anyway. Okay, so yeah. I think it just made sense. It was like all right, just flying to Philly and I just ride up with pops. I think that was the logic. If but I you know, right. even before I even answer your question, the interesting thing is maybe the reason why you flew into Philly is because you needed that time to have that conversation. I mean, 100%. We know you that know, was the real it's, reason. It's amazing how things work out. But, <laughs> you know, it's, first of all, I've been very fortunate to have the most amazing parents in the entire world. Just the most supportive, uh, supportive parents from day one to just even today. You know what I mean? Like, just really. Um, and that answer is so funny. I always joke to say that my dad has never given me a straight answer ever in life, right? My dad is always, so when I walk with my dad, I'm like, you know, heartbroken. I would say, dad, but did you ever go through whatever? His answers are usually, that, that answer is so him, whatever decision you make is gonna be the right decision because it's your decision, right? So, so for example, my dad's a junior. And he was hell bent on making sure I wasn't a third. Reason why he's like, yo, I need you to go your own path. I need go you to your go your own way. And so if I ever said like, dad, you like this outfit? He'd be like, do you like the outfit? <laughs> right? He's like, he ne he'd never just go, yeah, it's dope. I do it my entire time of knowing my dad, not one time. Dad, you like this hat? I love the hat, keep rocking. He'd be like, dad, you like this hat? 
are you wearing it? How's it make you feel? You know, <laughs> I love you. They're going to wear the hat then, right? It's like, what that in the false. world? But what I did notice is that throughout my life, when I go back and like reflect back on the life, he would never give me an answer. He'll never give me a direction, but he was always like, little nudge. Okay, he's a little off. Mm. Stay close. No answer, but nudge him back again. It's, like it was just like putting up putting up guardrails. Putting you know? up guardrails throughout my entire life, through all the failed record deals, throughout, you know, the tough times trying to struggle, going back to college and and, and, and whatever. And my mom was more like the I remember when I had um, left school, you know, I did the Warner Brothers thing and I went to mm. Island Records and I was out of school for like a year and a half. And my mom was like, so what's up with the record deal? And I was like, I, I, I think it kind of dried up. Man. She like, so you know, you got your scholarship still, right? You need to go to a building like, <laughs> listen. So I went, I went there the next time and they, they didn't like offer the scholarship. They were like, I was like, my, I went back and it was like, they were like, nobody was like bringing it back up. She said, you need to go in there, you need to sing. You need to sign sign autographs. You need to hug every single person in there. You need to do whatever you need to do. But when you walk out of that A building, that scholarship needs to be back. And I was like, okay, cool. I walked back. There, I love you to the moon. I walked in like, hey, you know, right, right. You need a picture. You need a hug. You need me to sing at your bar mitzvah. Whatever. It's like Little meet and, and greet. You know, yeah. So she was the one. She would. She would be the one who was like, you know, I'm gonna give you some direction. This is what you need to do. You know, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. And, and they were the perfect. They're the perfect. Um, I tell you the the two most impactful moments in my my childhood. My mom, when I was uh, I think a freshman in high school, I remember her coming home, and she had quit her corporate America job. I think she worked for AT and T, and she was like, "I can't do it no more. I'm done. I'm so un- I'm just unfulfilled. I'm done with it." I remember he wasn't talking to us; she was talking to my dad, and he was like, "Okay, all right, cool." And she had quit her job to start a business in fashion. Wow, and. That was really important. Like I own my own business. My sister owns her own business now. And I think it comes from that day. Entrepreneurship. My mom. Yeah, exactly. But then the other part was, I think like the next day, my dad had this Lincoln Mach 7, white with a blue rag top, sweet, gorgeous car. And the next day he put a for sale sign on it. Mm. And it sold within hours. Like somebody drove by, bought it like boom. And he went and bought this big old, old gray van to drive my mom's clothes around. So it was like the moments of entrepreneurship and then like support your partner. Yeah, you know nah, I mean? true sacrifice and support. Yeah, that's real. And, and I think, you know, I think I'm an example of entrepreneurship, but at the same time, you know, I, my, if you, anybody knows me and my wife, it's like, it, that's how we, I'm driving, she holding the map. She driving, I'm holding the map. <laughs> like, all right, this the turn, you know what I mean? So I'm constantly trying to figure out what's the gray van in my marriage, you know what I mean? And, and doing that. And I, and it's, it's, whole, it's completely, watching watching my parents watching my parents you know my I, 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 you know i give everything to them you know what i mean it's enormously supportive what i'll tell you my dad you know you know him he goes by pop everybody calls him pop and most of my friends unfortunately did grow up with dads you know <laughs> for whatever reason whatever <laughs> and my dad was not just my dad my dad was the dad to my community to nah, all my straight up. so it's like he nah, earned straight up. he earned that term pop like to not just in high school not even just college but then all the bands that played from all the musicians that played for me just all the times all the cats he picked up from the airport and who might have been going through a hard time yo he's he's like for real if anyone's ever earned that term pop you know it's one thing to be a dad you know and he's been a great dad to me but he's been mm-hmm. a pop to like the music community like they, these stories I hear all the time because he's taking time to invest in everybody. And what's crazy is they live 10 minutes down the street from me. People will go see them. I call my <laughs> dad. They go see like, you? Yeah, yeah, so, so, so. I'm like, they ain't call. What? <laughs> they, no, they come to see Pop. They come to get mama's <laughs> cook. They come to see Pop. You know what I mean? And I, and I think that, that speaks volumes, you know, for how amazing they are.